Okay. This is migraine. This is one of the questions of suffering migraine. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. In uh, the first question, I thought was, what is migraine at first? So basically, migraine is a headache disorder caused by a frequent severe headache. Uh, uh, not the fact that migraine is headache, but headache is not migraine. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, migraine usually affects one side of the brain, and it used to last for like three, three hours to three days or more. And it usually affects people within age of 15 to 55 years old. Okay, what causes migraine? There are several factors causing migraine. First of all is emotions. Emotions can trigger migraine. Um, examples such as emotions are uh, anger, depression, stress. Uh, all of these can cause migraine. Hormones. Um, hormones such as during puberty, it could cause difference in the brain system. Physical causes. Physical causes are such as tiredness, insufficient sleep, and etc. Medications. Medications are for like when you're tired and you can't sleep, so you take sleeping pills, and that pill can cause migraine. Your diet. Basically, your diet is what you eat, not uh, making you thinner or like that. And uh, for information, diet, uh, this diet is mainly caused by alcohol, but in Brunei, there's no such thing. But relatively, it's also caused by caffeine, which is in coffee and tea. Environment. Um, people suffer migraine when they are in strong smell condition, or loud noise, or also flickering light. <coughs> and also, some scientists believe that this migraine is genetically inherited. So, if your father had migraine, basically, you will have soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a lot of migraines. Okay, I'm just gonna talk about the main types, two types which is migraine with aura and migraine without aura. Other types of migraines are chronic migraine. Um, if you want to know what is chronic migraine, it's a migraine that is left untreated and it will last for more than 15 days. Um, migraine with brainstem aura is migraine uh, that happens at the basilar artery, which is at the center of your brain. <laughs> So migraine with aura. Okay, this one is really easy to detect because, as you see, uh, this one, uh, you can see the different colors here. This is the aura. So this is like a messenger telling that you will have a migraine soon. <laughs> okay, your vision will start to blur as seen in this video. You see there's a blur thing here. This is what you call a huge black blind spot. And you will get harder to talk when you're communicating. And also, patients will start to hallucinate. They will see stuff that they never see before. <laughs> okay, this is the aura. Uh, this is the image. You cannot see through a person's eye. That's why this is the described by the patient. So they draw it like this, the aura. And this is the huge blind spot. Okay. <laughs> Migraine with aura, uh, without aura. Sorry. Okay. This one is, this one is a silent kill, uh, like that. It has no warning at all, and this is the most common migraine that all people affect. Occur. Wait, wait, wait. My is this is the most common migraine occur among all the teenagers and old people. Um, when you're facing having this migraine, you will 
be having a sudden thrombing pain. The word thrombing is pulsating. Um, on only one side of your head, especially in the front, and usually get worse when you're doing physical activities, and which will be amplified by dizziness. So basically when you're doing a work outside, then you have a this migraine, and also you felt dizzy, obviously you'll faint. The pain itself is enough to make people stop from doing what you're, their daily activities. The symptoms. Uh, these symptoms are in general for all migraines. Um, the first one is severe thrombing pain. Thrombing. Uh, the increasing pain will, when doing straining, as I said before, when you're doing physical activities, the pain will increase. Suddenly being sensitive to light and sound. Um, you, when you're, you basically listen to loud noise in your car, going to shopping or doing purchasing, and suddenly you become irritated when you hear this loud noise. Uh, you feel sick and f have frequent vomiting. You, you will have difficulty to talk, as I said before and loss of sensation. Uh, I want you to tickle your friend beside you. <laughs> if, if they feel tickled, <laughs> if, uh, if they feel tickled, then it's good. If they don't, please go check to a doctor. <laughs> treatment. So, so far there's no treatment for my game, but we can prevent it. So first is, get enough sleep. Uh, for a teenager, sleep is really important as they are still growing. So a teenager needs a sleep of 6 hours to 8 hours. Uh, reducing stress and being sad. Because when people have migraine, they tend to lock themselves in a dark, quiet room because they are scared of loud noise, lights, and also smell. And also avoid eating fat and fats, fatty foods that cause high blood pressure. And also obviously for all diseases or pain, illness, you should do regular exercise to prevent it. And most important one is drink plenty of water. What you can do if you're suffering a migraine? Uh, oh, the first obvious one is you go visit doctor regularly if the pain is increasing. The doctor will give medication, but this medicine will only given to lessen the pain. And the medicines are paracetamol. No, it's not paracetamol. Paracetamol is basically Panadol. It's, um, the doctor will give aspirin or tryptan, which is a more powerful painkiller than paracetamol. Uh, Antidepressant pill. Uh, this one is the old method. They take it from herbs, which is called fever fuel. And also vitamin B12 supplements. Um, this question I thought when I was making this slide. Can yoga help to prevent migraine? Since it's a healthy habit, so let's go through it. Yoga is good for our heart, where it helps to improve the blood flow and the circulation. Therefore, it can help to lessen the thrombic, throbbing pain. But, however, there are some poses that can strain your body. For example, the leg over the leg and you lift yourself. Uh, therefore, this can cause also migraine because when you're straining too much, you can develop migraine symptoms. Okay, this one is a new one. I just thought recently. Hypnotizing a migraine patient. What will happen? Okay, in theory, hypnosis is really effective to control migraine of the patient, especially for those who have good imagination, um, which reflects to the young ones. When a person is hypnotized, you can talk to their own brain. 
uh, and have a better control over migraine. But the fact is, the old people have poor imagination. But therefore, this could be a disadvantage for them. Thank you.